If you live or own a business in a flood-prone area, your rapidly rising flood insurance is changing again. But as Fox 11's Bill Miston reports, this time the change may not be so dramatic all at once. And that was last year's. Correct. Tom Mann received his yearly flood insurance bill last week. It rose by nearly $200 to 1600 That's about 15 percent. You said you're happy with that. Well, I was afraid it was going to be more. It was until a federal law signed last week capped the yearly premium increases. Someone who owns a home or business in a floodplain must be part of the National Flood Insurance Program. The rates recently doubled and tripled, but will now be capped at 18% a year for homeowners and 25% for businesses and people who own a second home. I'm afraid that it's going to go right up to 5,000 within five years. Man's house is near the bay and within Green Bay's floodplain. He's also under contract to buy the property next door. That means another flood insurance bill for, ironically enough, the insurance agent. I don't know how uh, anybody could buy a home knowing that they almost have a second property tax bill. Some real estate agents I spoke with didn't want to go on camera, but say their major concern is how they'll be able to sell properties they own in flood-prone areas. Banks often require the insurance. The yearly rate increases are to help pay off the flood program's $24 billion debt. Catastrophes like Hurricane Katrina and Superstorm Sandy are partly to blame. For those who will take a hit because of the federal guidelines, there may be some help. We're here to assist them if, uh, in understanding if their property is in or out. and. Uh, the opportunities they can do to, to follow up and maybe get a reduced premium possibly. In Green Bay, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. 10% of the state's homes and businesses in the federal flood program are in Green Bay. And according to FEMA data, that's the most of any city in the state.